Hey, what's up guys? What we have right here, right now, is a new on-camera monitor called A5 by Lilliput. It's a tiny 5-inch monitor, and the reason it is so small is that it was designed for 3-axis gimbals. Together with small size comes small weight, which is only 118 grams. Alright, in the box we have, uh, we have the monitor itself. Let's take a look. Here, how it looks like. Then we have we have a user guide here. We have an HDMI cable. We have a sunshade frame. Also, we have a small carton box with a uh, ball head mount and a small range. It has three tripod mounts on the top, bottom and one on the right side. On the left side we have a DC 12 volts port, two HDMI ports, one in one out and a headphone jack. There is no navigation wheel anymore but two buttons, also a menu button, an exit button which is also a customizable shortcut and a power on off button. One also feature of this monitor is that it supports both uh, Sony and Canon batteries, small and big ones. Uh, you don't have to use any sort of special adapter. So we have the Sony batteries on the left, Sony uh, Canon batteries on the right. You just take one battery, let's say this one, snap it in and you're good to go. There is also a small battery release button. As this is a gimbal monitor, it can also be charged by a stabilizer via a micro USB port on the back. It has an IPS screen with HD resolution. Contrast is 1000 per 1, while brightness is 400 candela per square meter. Here, I should stress out that pixel density and brightness characteristics are slightly worse than smartphone screens have, However, that's an excellent result for an on-camera monitor. It provides very accurate color reproduction and excellent grayscale even in a sunny day. Good viewing angle, which is 170 degrees. It can even work with 4K 30B. As you can see, there is almost no delay. Frankly, I only found one big drawback of this monitor, which is power on, power off button. Once you press it accidentally, it turns off the monitor immediately, so be careful. By the way, long press is for turning on, while short is for turning off. To conclude, I'd like to say that this is a very good on-camera monitor, especially for its price. It's not professional, however, it does have few of professional features, so I do suggest you buy it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below whether you think this is a good on-camera monitor or not. Smash the like button, subscribe for the channel, and see you next time.